We'll have to see. I mean, they can they can do a lot of things Five to avoid the brood mother, but I just don't know what angle they'll take. They can do like a safe lane Reserve clop, time. where she just screams the spiders, or possibly the clop goes off lane with some support, and then they pick a better hero now against the brood mother. So is this really that bad know. for newbie right now? Is it really that bad? Uh, the brood matchup against Trout is extremely bad. Brood will be able to 1v3 the lane and eventually take over. Oh, there's the Axe. Okay. So, support Weaver then, huh? Yeah, support Weaver, and it looks like Axe is going to try to lane against the Brood Mother. I don't know where they're going to put this Drow, though. Maybe against the Troll with, like, Ogre or mm -hmm. something. I mean, they do. It's not like they just have all of their eggs in the Drow basket. You do have a Weaver who's a pretty good late game carry, and Quap's not, bo Quap's not bad either, so... Yeah. Team secrets turn to ban. Yeah. That's going to be tough. Again, that remaining. lockdown is pretty lacking for secret other than that. Dragon Five Tail. Now, you, I, you know, I thought this might have been just a Weaver core, but you're right. This could be run as a Weaver support. It's not something we see too often anymore. I haven't seen it too much. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, my God. That is a brood mother, Dear Lord. Not at all. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So is this really that bad for newbie right now? Is it really that bad? This pick. Ten seconds remaining. Axe. So, support Weaver then, huh? Yeah, I don't know where they're going to put this Drow, though. Maybe against the troll with, like, Ogre or something? How does this work? Right. Right. Yeah, the farm important, but for the Queen of Pain, much more so, I think. I gotta say, that's a pretty excellent fifth pick from Team Secret. I mean, that was maybe one of the best things they could have done. But remaining. we'll see if it's going to work out. We're about to jump into the game. Sorry for the delay, everybody. We are finally into game number two. The draft is now done. I don't know, man. I haven't seen Brood in a long time, so I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> For, for newbie, yes, they lost first blood and three bounty runes, but at least they secure that. And we got some weird uh, level one skills coming out here. We have the Swarm on Weaver, which is better than Shikuchi at level one, when you can actually secure a kill. Mm -hmm. Frost throws on the Drow to help secure that too, so. And yeah, no precision aura, so it's gonna take a little while for them to get to that point. Now, dual breath Kaka in trouble. He doesn't have Shikuchi, and they know it. He gets caught in a position. Faith is gonna be next. Already secret going in. Faith still alive for now. Frost is slowing down MP. There's the dual breath. The Absor needs to get one more auto attack, and he looks like he will find it. He might die for it, though. He's already used the Shadow Walk. Kaka trying to chase him down. The Swarm is up. Mogi is going over there as well, but they don't have boots. They're not fast enough, especially without Shikuchi from Kaka. And that'll be that. Well, all right then. Yeah, we've got the action pack uh, aggro here. I don't know how newbie feel about this like they got that nice early kill but it's not going great slings yeah exactly it's not going great at all it doesn't seem like it's going to go great anytime soon we have over rotating off the lane here and, yeah uh, you know they're doing this knowing that their broodmother or that their axe is having a good time so that kind of keeps them in there but broodmother did go for the passive build he has the uh, the bite skilled up instead of the spider lace so yep. that's actually something you can do against a lot of these laners that do counter the broodmother just to make your 1v1 actually manageable. 
Uh, and you know, in the mid lane too, we talked about the DK maybe not having the best time against the uh, Queen of Pain, but for now, he's got a CS advantage here. Yes, he is taking a lot of Raz, but level 2 Dragon's Blood is now up, which means there's good regen as well as armor. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm surprised they're not sacking this bottom lane and kind of just keeping the Weaver here with the Drow. Whirling Axes will go, and the Dual Breath and Faith is in even more trouble. Frost Air is coming out. They don't have... They finally have Precision Armor, but Faith is still going to get caught and bashed up by MP. Now they're chasing Mogi down underneath the tower. U9 is going to back himself up and away. And uh, this lane does not seem great for Newbie. Yeah, I don't know how much longer they can sit down here but, uh, before they decide it's just not worth it. Well, maybe they can Looks like they're going to keep but... trying for now. Faith yeah. TP's right back down. You know, yeah. I thought that they would uh, sit the Ogre mid and just camp him on top of DK's hill, and then Ogre and Quap would just kind of bully him out. That's not happening. But instead, he's dedicating his time down here, where he's not really doing a whole lot. Despite all of this, the four kills going for secret, the three bounty runes being taken, there's an only an 800 gold advantage at three minutes in. Feels like it should be more, based on how this lane is going, to be honest with you. They missed the dust, yeah, too. Yeah, it's true. This is so, so interesting. Call will come out. Nicely done. KP doing some counter helix procs. Now down bottom. Here we go. Mogi getting caught. Swarmer's there. There's the rolling axes. And again, a death coming out. Fire Blast. Ignite. They're trying to turn on to Puppy. I don't think they're going to get this kill. Maybe with Shikuchi and a couple of auto attacks. But they will lose faith for it. Now Kaka. He does get the return kill. But it's a two-for-one trade. And now the gold is starting to get out of control as Secret get up to 1,500 net worth advantage. The Drow will rotate back down bottom. What about Faith? Looks like he's heading away. Kaka is still it's, getting uh, chased by Absor, by the way. It's looking like time to bring out the jungle Drow Ranger strategy here. No one wants to be in this lane, man. This lane's awful for newbie. And Faith is rotating down. God bless him. They're going to keep trying until it works. So there's that. The Axe is getting pretty good farm. 24 last assist to 16 up against the Broodmother. SCC is about even in CS with the DK. Uh, but he's taking a lot of harass for this brief fire spam. Meanwhile, Yapsor chasing after Kaka. Dust is up and ready. And you know what? Yapsor's probably dead here. He has no TP. He has no way to get out. Shadow Strike to come in. And uh, he is completely blocked. And they'll probably try to get this kill to SCC. I'm a faithful take in instead. But kill's a kill. So nice stuff there. Even Ogre's got to make it to Boots, man. That's true. That's a good point, actually. This is kind of close now. There's at least that. Uh, but looking at the Drow CS, seven last hits. The worst thing is that she's level two. She's the same level as her Ogre. And I don't see this getting better anytime soon. Yeah, she's actually just going to have to jungle until the lane comes in. But then they have Bounty Hunter to mess with them, too. Well, let's uh, let's talk about this one v one lane, the yes. Axe Broodmother. Okay. Um, Axe obviously, when there are more units, he spins and he can kill Broodmother. But unless he can actually sneak up on him and close the distance, like up top, he just walked her behind the trees, try to get the call. Off. The call animation is so long that if Broodmother has hands on the keyboard, he's probably gonna dodge it most of the time. Yeah. And then he just cuts the wave, and all of a sudden it's like Broodmother farms your wave and all the jungle in between while Axe tries to do the same thing it's not it's not that good not ideal until he gets a blink dagger it's not going to be any further any better it's yep axe will do more with the early farm in terms of like he'll get blink dagger vanguard and stuff and bird mother will keep continuing to farm but it's still really hard for axe to, uh, for axe to do anything to bird mother yeah maybe They're they can rotate just, somebody uh, up there farm. they can like get some detection and stun or something but they really want to keep Axe here alone, get him some levels, and they also want Mogi to secure some farm. Level 3, 9 last hits to the 34 of MP on the Troll Warlord. So this lane has gone about as good as it could have for Secret, considering that they've gotten a couple of kills out of it too. But that lane, we've talked about it enough, let's move elsewhere. Yaps are rotating on SCC. Um, and so too is Kaka trying to find Puppy. Dust will come out, oh, there's the swarm. Dual breath, he's going to go for the TP and make it away, it looks like too. They have no way of stopping it. Axe, uh, or excuse me, the troll even came over to throw up rolling axes on Takaka, but he's a, uh, ooh, courier. Yapsor will scout him out. And Kaka can't find the auto attack as he goes into the fade delay. But at least they're trying to get some stuff done with this weaver. Yep, pretty soon here, Noob are going to have to be worrying about their mid lane. DK has his level 6. He's getting pretty tanky. If, uh, Queen of Pain, you know, Queen of Pain wants to make rotations. She wants to move across the map and use her ultimate 
when that happens though, DK is just going to hit her tower, so it kind of uh, strays her away from making that sort of a play. And mid one is not taking any damage from SCCC. He took a Shadow Strike and like a couple of auto attacks and literally shrugged it off. He has a lot of armor. Now, and I, also, the Breathe Fire was there too. It's the damage reduction. You can't forget about that. It's pretty significant, actually. Yeah, it's a lot. Gus down bottom. Mogi getting dove as Faith TP's away. So they're trying to find the kill on mid one mid, and they might. There's the swarm. The armor reduction is there. The blinkin. A couple more auto attacks should do the job. Good Breathe Fire, but it's not enough to reduce the damage as SEC and Faith, along with Kaka, will combine up to get the kill. So yeah, they lose Mogi bottom, but it's a very big kill for the mid. So when uh, DK delivered his items off the courier, his bottle actually went into his backpack. Oh, it probably no. wouldn't have made a difference there because he had the ignite on him mm. and the shadow strike, but it's still so annoying. Like he has an empty slot, but it's there in the backpack instead. Meanwhile, bottom lane tier one tower is taken down. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. I don't think it would have made a difference, but you you at least have to try. And unfortunately, that doesn't happen, but rough. But uh, good news for Secret, it's going pretty good elsewhere. I mean, you have the top three net worth heroes currently. You've just taken down a tier one tower in that bottom lane. You can start rotating your supports elsewhere, maybe taking jungle camps or roaming and trying to get this bounty hunter some experience to get to level six. It's going pretty well. And Kazu continues to farm top lane and second in the net worth now. He actually has level three spawn spiderlings, level four spin whip. He's level eight currently and the ax is right with him, but still no blink as he picks up the Vanguard first. Yep. Vanguard's a nice, safe way of securing your farm because typically when you have Broodmother, you'll want to rotate up to the lane, but with Axe has a Vanguard, then it's the oh, possibility that plays Here we go. Good. Fight happening. SEC Sonic Wave, but he will go down as Yapsor is there. Mid one might trade his life away. The Breathe Fire, is it going to be enough? They need another at least Ignite, but mid one's still low. Can't fight. Can't quite find this kill. One more auto attack into the fire blast. It still doesn't get the kill. The auto attacks from Faith. He's not going to get it done. He doesn't have any mana left. And mid one's going to turn and get a double kill. What a turnaround. That DK is so tanky. And Ogre just does not have the damage. My lord. That's ridiculous. He had like 20 health there in that fight. And Dragon Armor. He somehow survives and turns it around. Dragon Blood. Pretty good. Pretty solid stuff. AP top lane, looking for Kezu, who is currently in the tree line. Dipping and diving, dodging away. Kaka getting pretty low to a brief fire. Rolling axes will come out. MP almost hit him. If he does, that's probably a kill. Quap has finally respawned, and this tower already taking a lot of damage from the Elder Dragon form and should fall. Ice Path comes out again. Mid one is not there. He finally comes out. He was looking for the Dragon Tail, but it'll settle for the brief fire kill. And he does so pretty easily. And that's the tier one tower now gone and secret. This time, they're the ones with a very early advantage here after game one, which went pretty much the same way for Newbie. Oh boy, Up on top, aggression does not stop. I don't yeah. think kill though. He has a Vanguard. He does indeed. Ice Path will come out, but yeah, he should be fine. Call was about to go. That's uh, the one here they've got going for them, besides maybe SEC mid lane is KP. He really needs that blank dagger. A thousand, some odd goal away. And uh, with that, it could turn things around. But they're going to go back top again. Here's the Breathe Fire. This time, they've got mid one. The Elder Dragon form with the Dragon Tail. Breathe Fire to follow up. There's going to be the Ice Path. A lot of damage. He will use that call. Might keep him alive for a moment. They have another spawn Spiderlings. That will secure the kill for Kezu. Kaka rotates up, albeit too late. And uh, that is the biggest net worth hero on Newbie going down. It just feels like they can't fight at all. Axe has Vanguard, but he still needs time to get to his Blink Dagger. He's still... Not even halfway there yet at this stage of the game, and it just feels like it's way too slow when uh, uh, Secret's lineup are just going from tower to tower, uh, non-stop fighting and pushing. You gotta wonder what this Drow pickup is doing for them now, too. I mean, yes, it was a pretty bad landing phase, but... Oh, that spawn spiderlings, if that hits, that's probably a kill on the Weaver, but... This is tough. They're gonna TP in a couple heroes, and it looks like Midwood does not care at all. The Dragon Tail will come out. They will back up in a way. They know that they don't really want to dive and lose too much here. More liquid fires coming out. There's track. It's already up and ready. The ice path just narrowly missing. Finally, SCC TPing in. Elder Dragon form is done. And this is maybe the best time to push back if you're secret. Don't get too overconfident here. We'll see if they continue on. But MP has rotated up. Whirling Axes will miss on to KP. And we'll see if they continue to pressure this tier 2 tower top lane. Yeah, it's... Mm, looks like they're just going to back. They're going to back up a shrine, it looks like. And at least this gives some room for Mogi, who's like, I really need a Dragon Lance. 
He actually has treads now, too, so... All right. The comeback train is starting. He's not going for a Midas, though, so... It's gonna be a while. Yeah, this is, uh... It's a pretty tough spot. Just trying to scrape together whatever farm he can find, but... You know, Secret, all they have to do is wait for their D-Kill cooldown. It's up in 10 seconds. It looks like mid one's heading back up to the top lane to try to secure that tower. It's very low as well. Yeah. They're gonna grab it here. And yeah, DK ult, as you mentioned, Elder Dragon form is at the ready, and the spiders are here as well. Medallion picked up, by the way, for Kezu. It's pretty great already. Does a lot of damage. He's gonna go BKB next. Going for the no boots build. Don't blame him. He's got level four spin web. It's pretty good. And uh, no towers have been even close to being taken for newbie, even with this drow lineup. And SCC's died a couple of times, has yet to find that big sonic wave, that big initiation. So, I don't know, man. Where do you go from here if you're a newbie? I really need that Blink Dagger, I guess, for the Axe, huh? Yeah, they definitely need that Blink Dagger. And hopefully, you know, if they get one pick off, it'll be a shit ton of gold. True. Yeah, that and Blink calls are big enough that it could certainly turn things around. But as it stands right now, the call will come out. There's going to be the ultimate from the Broodmother as well. The Spiderlings are coming in. Nice micro, too. Dust will come out. There's the scream. They actually caught Kezu with it. Sonic Wave to come through. They'll probably get Puppy, but will they get more? They've got the haste move speed coming in from the Calling Blade, and Kezu, though, Dust is still up, but not for much longer. Scream of Pain coming in. They need another Dust. He's now in Viz. The Dust has fallen off, and they're pushing mid all the meanwhile. The Tier 2 about to fall. It is done, Zo. They only get Puppy out of that. Man. Yeah, that's the, the space play right there. Trading your Jakiro for a free Tier 2 tower. Yeah, they're not ha they're not they're not really sad about that secret. We'll see if they can find something else too. Cock is about to get chased down. Medallion. See you later. Breathe fire. You're dead. Up and this looking like uh, secret. Want to look at Roshan now? They do have Gladstone up on the troll. Mm, no Sonic Wave was just used in that fight. Top lane. No blink for the axe, which means this is gonna be their Rosh. The blink will come out, but it'll be too little, too late. The App Store chasing after Faith as well. He's starting to get rich. He's going to Ags this game. Wow. And the App Store feels that good. More tracks to come through. Shrukin coming out. Ice Path to fly through. And they do stun Kezu. They also get a dust off. There's the Aegis being picked up by MP SEC coming in. Kezu Axe might be in trouble. Play. They need this kill. They're about to find it. Calling Blade. That's a giant pickup. They've also lost Puppy. And now Secret need to leave. KP. He's got Blink in six seconds. Blink in Scream of Pain. Mid one will be taught. At least hit up by the Shadow Strike, but it's not nearly enough. Kaka still chasing after the Absor. KP deciding not to go for it. Now Shuriken comes in, time lapse. Kaka taking a lot, taking a lot of damage, but he'll be able to get back out. And now they're turning this into a tier one tower. Okay, all right. It's, uh, just it's like a start. That. One quick pick. Axe gets his blink dagger, and now they got a tower. Yeah. They still have a long way away, though, right? I mean, this is. Yeah, definitely. Drow hasn't even entered the game yet as a hero. She wants more items, more farm levels. Maybe if they get to that late game, we'll see how it turns out. Yep, yeah, Axe did farm like a thousand gold within like a minute and a half, though. He was actually going for the uh, Crimson Guard. Okay. It's pretty owned, I feel like, against Brood, right? Can't be a bad idea. Yeah. Good against uh, Troll 2. Troll, not the highest base damage. You know, he builds these stat items, S and Y, Scotty. He just hits fast. Blocks a lot of his damage for sure. All right, this smoke could be huge for a secret. Finish off another hero like SEC or even the Axe. But newbie are backing up. They seem to know something is amiss. They will stay near their base. They might go for a smoke themselves. I don't think they have one on them, actually. Maybe on Faith. Looks like they do. We'll see if they do decide to go for something here. Secret's still smoked up. It's about to dissipate in a good couple of seconds. In the meantime, Kezu just split pushing top, as one would expect from Broodmother. He will have a BKB soon, among other items coming out for Secret, including the Blink Dagger for the DK, along with his armlet that he had at the beginning of the game. He is very tough to bring down, but there's still the possibility here. It is an 8,000 net worth advantage for Secret. At one point, it was 10k. But uh, again, newbie need a lot more space to be created here in order to find this gold. Yep, you know, one thing they have going for them is Brood is not... She's not like a hero that's ready to fight actively, you know? She gets blink called in these team fights, she will die. Like yeah. as we saw in that last fight. Um, she's working on BKB, but even with the BKB, it still like allows her to live in these fights, but not do a whole lot of damage. She, her place is still split pushing on the map and pressuring the side lanes. Right. Newbie do not feel safe at all, and for good reason, another smoke comes out from Secret. This time they will head over towards the bottom lane. 
Kaka did a very good job of split pushing that. Of course, trying to get the Aghanim Scepter, the big item. Now they'll jump in. They're going to find Mugi. There's going to be the Macro Pyre, the Ice Path, and boy, is he dead. It's a mega kill spree for mid one on the DK, and now they're going to work this into a tier three tower push. MP is going to come right up. Good call. Does have Aegis. Good Dragon Tail to follow through. The Orchid comes out. The Sonic Wave is there as well. Aegis about to go down. They need a call, and they will find it. Now with Aegis gone, this might be good enough to really turn things around. We'll see. Backing away some of the creeps, or rather the Spiderlings taking some damage now, jumping in. DK getting caught with another Fire Blast. There's the Shadow Strike. Shrine will come through. I don't know if Secret want to stay here. They will back up slowly but surely. And Moki has respawned as well. So, a very good hold. They only take about half the HP on the tower. And Newbie are still alive and kicking. Yeah, big Orchid pick up from the cloth now. Lots of more damage on the DK. Troll's Aegis did not feel like it did anything in that fight. He just lost it so quickly and they had to back up immediately after. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, that's the thing, right? When you push, that first push is kind of to get rid of the shrines. That's like your big objective there. We're going to go in, make them shrine up, and now we have this window, this five minute period where it's much easier to push. So there's that at least. But of course, they did use the Aegis now too, so their timings are a bit off. Yeah. I might not want to fight without it. That's the big question. And slowly but surely, again, Newbie are starting to get some farm. But again, Secret have such a massive lead right now with 10k. You know, DK is starting to get big. They get some more BKBs. They'll be in a pretty good spot. And we'll see if that's going to be the case. SMY looks like Troll thought about it, and he is flying out. And now he's going to go for Blink BKB next. Um, they're kind of setting up mid. Shikuchi comes out, but mid one's already going to back away with a haste rune. No vision for Yapsor. Looks like he will make it away. The smoke that ha I think Faith was using is broken. SCC still is in his. Kazu, they I think they've spotted him. Dust will come out. There's the Orchid. Shadow Strike to follow up as well. And on the other side, Dragon Tail coming out. They're trying to blow up this Weaver. Can he get off the time lapse? He sure can. And scooching away as well. Now can Newbie make it out cleanly is the question. KP getting chased down. More rolling axes to come momentarily. Scream of Pain. Another Dragon Tail. This axe in trouble. There's the Battle Trance. Good gust. But KP in trouble. Good call to give him that extra armor, but the spawn spiderlings will finish him off. Along with more damage coming in from Yapsor and the rest of the crew. So, Axe now down for 38 seconds, and that might be the biggest thing that they need to do to push high ground here. Puppy uh -oh. down bottom, forcing some rotations here. He's, He's gonna, gonna get Puppy. Nice, but they're losing their 2-3 tower top lane. The glyph has to go. TP's coming out, Kok is nearby. Battle Trance going to work with the fervor of MP. There it is. Tier 3 tower no finally axe. gone. How can they defend? Yeah, I don't know. 15 seconds without him. This is looking pretty difficult. They're going to back up for now. Another shrine used for newbie. Oosh. All right. So, tier 3 tower. Now they can head back. They can take the shrines outside of the base. Get even more map control for secret. Continue on a path. A little to no resistance. Well... Yeah, this is looking pretty rough, Brax. I gotta be honest with you. I don't really, I don't really don't know where they can go from here. I get they have these big chances for calls, and that might be enough, but they're pretty far behind. And Drow is yeah. starting to catch up a little bit. I mean, KP with that death is slowed down significantly, and Drow's caught up to him. But yeah, I mean, look at the bounty hunter too. He's not far behind either. It feels like there's a big lack of damage from newbie. You know, Drow can't really stand her ground and attack anyone. Axe didn't go for the Blade Mill, so he lacks a bit of damage as well. I think the Crimson Guard is better than Blade Mill in this specific scenario, but they just need more, you know? Mm -hmm. They can't fight yet. Yeah. There's a lot of decent wards coming out here, too, for Secret to spot out the movements. They will try to find this kill on the troll. It would be huge. Good call. The Orc comes out. The Sonic Wave. They're blowing everything, and they will secure the kill. That's what they needed, a pick like that. That's one, but they need a lot more. Yeah, but that's exactly what they need. Any pick on any core like that is very, very good for them right now. They just need some breathing room so that Secret can't just wait for their timings and run down the lane when Aegis spawns. Uh, but even so, because you still split pushing top, you have plenty of work being done by the DK, who now is just about at his BKB. There's a mech up on the Bounty Hunter as well. Newbie are holding on for dear life here. They really are. One more lost team fight might secure the game for Secret. 
Yep, luckily for a newbie, their shrines in the mid lane are coming back up. You know, the, all the shrines are now like centered around mid lane. I'm wondering when we're going to see teams starting to push the side lanes before mid. That's not a bad idea. I think that'll... It, uh, it takes a lot longer for the creeps to get into the side lanes, but having no shrines there really does make a big difference. Yeah. You can see just the kind of, you know, how tough it was for Secret to move into that situation. The Shrines came out. They actually almost, if they stayed a little bit longer in that mid lane push, they might have lost a fight there if they weren't careful. And that was because of Shrines. Part of it was because of Shrines. I don't want to make it sound like it was all because of Shrines. All right, but they definitely do make it hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, now we're getting to that part of the game where Secret have a pretty fair lead, and they're just going to wait for their timings now. When uh, Roshan comes up, they've got their... They're work well, they're working on their BKB on Troll Warlord. They have theirs completed on DK right now. Yep. So they're getting to their core items here that'll help them end this game. They've taken all the outer towers too. And Roche is up in about a minute, maybe even less now. They'll yep. trade for a tier one top. I mean, that's the best newbie can get right now, to be honest. Not much else they can do. Well, Secret are actually, uh, they're forcing this. They yeah. use DK ultimate with the Arcane Rinse, so they want to see what damage they can deal here. They're going to go mid as well. Uh, tier 3 is already halfway in terms of HP. Might be a better choice for them. Shrines, like you mentioned, are coming back up. The shrine over towards the right of the mid lane is already back. And, of course, behind the mid lane as well. And this is, again, the issue. You know, you could come in and if you take a fight, you got to be careful. You need to blow people up pretty quickly. SCC's going to get caught. There's Dragon Tail. Ice Cap comes out. Macro Pyre. And they've already lost the co-op. KP is going to be next if he's not careful. And even with that Crimson Guard, he is forced to buy back. Still, SCC down for 45 seconds. Very good initiation. The Ice Path follow-up from Puppy is there, and this time, they're making it work. They're going to go again. Nope. Well, Axe is alive, but they don't have the Queen of Pain ultimate. Yeah, they need that damage. The call will miss. Mid one blinks out. Ice Path to come through. That will hit on the Axe. Here's the Battle Trance. MP going to work. They're not going to push too aggressively. They've gotten the Tier 3. They can back up, go to Roche. And probably feel successful in doing so. Yeah, tons of economic damage there. Forcing the buyback from Axe. And now Roshan pretty much looks free. There are no shrines for newbie to TP2 outside their base to get her quickly. Nor could they even win a fight if that happened. Yeah, right. I think this is, uh, we're near the end of the game here, Mont. Yeah, it feels a lot like game one, right? Where it was just kind of, you know, it started out and then a slow lead accrued for one team and then it kind of just ended. Sort of the same thing is happening here, I feel like. Yep. Newbie are kind of trickling in here, but it might be too Ooh, late. Yeah, sure. Oh, they know where he is. Orchid comes out. Roche will come out, but here comes a bit one great ice pad from Puppy. The macro power to bump the breed fire. They will get the Weaver. They will get KP. It is a dieback. Dead for 61. SCC, luckily enough, is able to blink out, but everybody else getting chased down. Moogie's going to get dragon tailed up. More breathe fire, whirling axes, fire blast to keep him alive. MP is going to chase him down, though. Good try in that force. Will still fall. A double kill for MP. Kezu chasing down Faith. It's getting chewed up by this poor freaking spider. They'll grab a kill. Godlike spree coming in for mid one. And that should just about end it, I would imagine, Brex. Wow. Yep, and that's a good game. Wow's come out all around. That this is... game's secret. This is a complete U-turn from game one. Absolutely. They looked ten times better. And originally, you know, we saw that drow pickup and we're thinking, okay, you know, this... A lot of pushing presence from newbies going to come out. They're going to put a lot of pressure on these towers. How are they going to deal with this? Then Kezu grabs up that Broodmother, and the lanes just go to hell in a handbasket. That bottom lane was a decision.